opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. The king's Indian defense prepares to develop the bishop to g7, allowing white to build up a strong center which black will later try to undermine. And c3 prepares the e2-e4 pawn push and helps control the d5 square. Bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. e4 takes full control of the center. d6 controls the e5 square and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Bd3 develops the bishop to a square where it protects the e4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. And ge2 develops the knight toward the center, supports the d4 pawn and the knight on c3. c5 gains space in the center and attacks the d pawn. d5 gains space in the center and controls the square c6 and e6. e6 challenges white's d pawn and controls f5. This is an equal trade. It is the last book move. This misses a better way to recapture a piece. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a knight off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This is the strongest option. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is excellent. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is excellent. The rooks can see each other now allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is best. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is good. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This is a fair move. It is good. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is excellent. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is good. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is good. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is good. Takes back. It is best. This challenges the opposing rook for control of the open file. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. This is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is excellent. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is excellent. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. This exposes an attack, threatening a knight. It is best. This moves the knight to safety. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. Right on target. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is excellent. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This defends the attacked pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. A solid choice. It is excellent. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is good. This moves the bishop to a more active square, 
making it gain scope. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. A very strong play. It is excellent. This takes an outpost, an active square where the bishop cannot be kicked out by a pawn. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is excellent. One of the best moves. It is excellent. A very strong play. It is excellent. This is the strongest option. It is best. That's fine. It is good. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. Right on target. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is good. A solid choice. It is excellent. One of the best moves. It is excellent. A very strong play. It is excellent. This is a fair move. It is good. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This is the strongest option. It is best. This takes an outpost, an active square where the knight cannot be kicked out by a pawn. It is best. This evades the check from the knight. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. That was an incredible middle game by both players.